Hi everybody, welcome again when we talk about narrowband IoT. Um, I would like to tell you more about the special characteristics of narrowband IoT. And therefore, we picked out one of these characteristics today. It's about indoor penetration and it's about coverage. My name is Dominic Schneiders. I'm the program manager for narrowband IoT at Deutsche Telekom. Now, first of all, narrowband IoT is an innovative mobile network. It's a wide area network, and it was designed by 3GPP, especially for IoT devices. Here in the picture, you can see some of these devices that could be a use case for narrowband IoT. And we as Deutsche Telekom launched narrowband IoT in June of this year in Germany and in the Netherlands. Now, the question is, what is so special about narrowband IoT and how does narrowband IoT support these IoT devices? Let's have a look at one special characteristic about coverage and about the special thing, deep indoor penetration. Now, if you have a look at that picture, you see a beautiful living room. Unfortunately, it's not my living room. But imagine you're at your home in your living room, and if you want to call, you will probably have a signal with your smartphone, right? But what about if you go into your cellar? And luckily, this is not my basement. Now, in the cellar, you usually will not have a signal anymore with your smartphone. Now, here comes narrowband IoT. With narrowband IT, you will probably have a signal. Technically, we speak about 20 dB plus on the link budget compared to GPRS. It helps you to go through one more big wall or several small wall. This was especially designed and planned by the 3GPP. And it's very important. A lot of IoT devices are static. And without coverage, you won't have functionality. Now, if you want to know more about narrowband IoT, please watch our full webinar, Narrowband IoT, How Far Have We Come? Or follow us on LinkedIn, Sing, or Twitter. Or come to our website and visit it. Thank you very much.